Did CDPR kill their own game? False promises, lies, corruption and much more. Over the past few days, even more has come to light about the state of things behind the scenes in regards to production on what was supposed to be one of the most revolutionary games for years. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So if you are watching this video unaware of me, let me just take a few seconds to tell you where I'm at with Cyberpunk. So I am one of the few people who actually likes this game. So it seems. Yes, it's littered with bugs, missing features, glitches, bad AI and much more. This no one can disagree on the fact the game isn't the game we thought we were getting. But beyond all of that guys, I'm still enjoying this game. And although many people are quick to point out the bad factors, people never really talk about the good points. This open world RPG is exactly that. In the simple fact you can roleplay your heart out with many many specific build styles like Netrunner, Gunslinger, Stealth and much more. Build and spec your character in many many different ways. Multiple romance options where actual characters are believable. Multiple different endings and much much more. So there are some great factors to this game also. But we cannot deny the fact of the game we have right now isn't that game we were promised. So yeah, I love the heck out of it, but let's face it, along the way CDPR did tell a few porkies. And over the past few days, we have seen a ton, and I mean a ton of negativity in terms of Cyberpunk and CDPR being torn apart due to these lies and false promises. Now if you guys missed it, a dude called Jason Schreier, who I will state is one of the top game journalists in the world, dropped an article on Bloomberg which actually dug deep into the many problems that went on with the game's production cycle. He mentions and confirms things like the game was in third person up until a few years back. That 2018 gameplay demo we saw being almost completely fake, real crunch, many cut features and things being scaled down. And the fact no matter the state the game was in, delaying it past the release of next gen consoles wasn't really an option. His article is real in depth and to be honest, I'd be here all day going through what he mentions. And as much as I do love this game, it's bad people, it's really bad. Now before his article even went live, he put questions forward to the execs at CDPR, but they refused to respond. But they knew his article was coming. Interestingly, they dropped that apology video the day before his article dropped. Many people believe they intended to do this, drop it before his article to save a little face. His article though I will link down below if you do want to check it out. So after he dropped his article, interestingly people, Adam Badowski in turn replied directly to Jason's article covering aspects in the article on fake gameplay etc etc. That you can see on the screen now. We have since seen a few of the big hitters cashing in on the downfall of this game. Angry Joe, Crobcat to say the least. If I'm honest, I'd never heard of before seeing his video. I mean I don't even know how to pronounce his name properly. But his video is something you can't really argue with and it's greatly put together. I'll link that down below as well if you also want to check it out. And taking all what's happened people, I honestly don't see Cyberpunk surviving long. I know many people believe it's going to pull another No Man's Sky style comeback. That in my opinion is going to be near impossible. And I don't mean it in the sense of the game won't ever be fixed, I believe it will be. I mean it in the sense of by the time it is fixed it will be too late. The issue is, the game as much as we love it guys, is in a bad state. A pre-release state. A state in which it shouldn't be no matter which way you look at it. Whether they were rushed by investors to release it, thought the game was good enough based on a few PC gameplay reviews. Whether they were pressured into that Christmas release due to that dollar dollar. We are left with arguably the most disappointing outcome for both the player and the producer. And what's worse is we have all seen that road map, which I will state, at best, it's extremely vague. It's more like a to-do list. And it's smart for them to naturally put dates down on it. Think about it this way, people. Those two patches which will land pretty soon. What's that? Almost two months of work for patches after release. And I guarantee you they won't fix many of the problems. They also state DLC is being pushed back until the game is in a better state. The next gen update also more so towards the end of the year. And with everything being pushed back, and it being a single player game which you can complete, add the many bugs and glitches, the seemingly lies being told, I don't feel the game can make as big a recovery as they themselves think it can. 
there is just no longevity to this game when you think about it. Yes, you can go on to create many builds, run the game a few times, but the way it is, not many will play it like that. It's a one-time completion thing. Many will complete it, put the game down and wait for DLCs to drop, then pick it back up. But with everything being pushed back, it's going to be extremely hard to recover. And I hate saying it guys because I see the game's potential. But from what we've heard over the past week, the statements, the apologies, the roadmap, I honestly just feel it might be too little too late. This game should have been delayed again. It really should have, but I don't think that was ever an option. And now it seems they're in a bad predicament. Can they get out of it? I ain't sure. Many folk have lost trust, and I feel people things will get even tougher before it gets better for them. It's sad to say, but I feel it's the truth. But guys, let me know your opinion on this down below in that comments section. Did CDPR kill their own game with greed and lies? Can this game recover? Let me know. And on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.